It was at the Bay State Hotel on April 14, 2001 that School for the Dead put on their first concert. At that time, the band was called Henning School for the Dead and the performance was supposed to be a one-time thing. Henning Olenbush was releasing a solo album and he put together a band of select local musicians for a concert. The band was so well received that they played a few more shows, and then a few more, and Bethel. Ray you knew it, it was three records, hundreds of concerts, and ten years later. Not long after they officially became a band, they started the Living Rockumentary. It was 2002 and Blog was not yet a household name. There was no Twitter, Facebook, or MySpace at the time and it was unusual for musicians to communicate so freely with fans. With over 5,000 posts, the Living Rockumentary has been actively following the band and their journeys both musical and personal. Three children were born to the School for the Dead family, relationships came and went, tragedies and victories, and through it all the band continued playing their songs together. School for the Dead is Henning Olin Bush, Brian Marchese, Max Germer, Tony Westcott, and Ken Myrie. On April 16, the band celebrates its 10th birthday at the Montague Book Mill. When asked why an indie rock band would choose a small intimate book line room such as this for a celebration, Olin Bush responds, Though we are known to put on energetic loud and intense concerts at times, what we always come down to is a celebration of friends playing songs together. At the book mill, we'll play at the volume level that we practice. We'll play so that each note of each instrument can be heard, so that each word of each song can be heard, and so that we can freely communicate with our audience. We want to be celebrating our 10 years with the audience rather than 80 them.